I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on calculus. In this video, we will understand the significance of our derivatives. We have a very special case to discuss. The question is, what can you conclude about the graph of function f of x if both first and second derivative are 0 at x equals to a? Explain possible situations with example. So we are saying that the first derivative is equal to 0 at x equals to a and we are also saying that the second derivative equals to 0 at x equals to a. So what does this mean? Well, if the first derivative is 0 at x equals to a, it could mean three things. We could have local maximum. we could have local minimum or neither right now if the second derivative is zero then then actually speaking it really it really does not help help to conclude if it was not zero it was positive or negative we could have concluded right but if it is zero it will not help us to conclude right to give you examples uh, let's take uh, let's draw the graphs and also understand these situations right so i'll draw three rather four situations let's say we have four situations here to discuss let's say we have a function which is uh, which is let's say we have function y equals to x square right so y equals to x square is a graph which is kind of like this now in this particular case y equals to x square at 0 we know the derivative of this function at 0 which is uh, 2 times x right is basically 0 and the second derivative at 0 which is 2 is actually greater than 0 right now since the second derivative is greater than 0 we have a local minimum at x equals to 0. Is that clear to you? Correct? So, but we have second derivative not equal to 0. It is positive, right? That is the concavity also, concave up, and we got local minimum. Now, let's take another example where we have a graph of x cube. So, we have y equals to x cube. Now, in this case, let me write down the first derivative. So, f dash x is equal to 3x square. And the second derivative is equal to 6x. Correct? So, at x equals to 0, f dash x, which is 0, is 0. And the second derivative is also 0. Now, since both are 0, we know that it is a point of inflection we cannot conclude since both are zero do you see that from the derivative you cannot conclude since this is zero similarly we could have another situation where instead of x square if i take y equals to let's say x to the power of uh, four now in that case we have the first derivative as 4x cube. Now that means f dash 0 is 0. The second derivative will be 12x square and at 0 the second derivative is also 0. Since both are 0 we cannot say whether we have a local maximum or local minimum or not. If you graph this function then what do you get? 
you get a graph which is kind of like this. So we do have a local minimum, however, we cannot confirm, right? So, so we cannot confirm. Correct? Let's take another example where if you want to make this as a maximum, we could write minus, right? So, so if I have a function, y equals to x to the power of 4, but with a negative sign. So we know the graph will be kind of like this. So we know there is a local maximum. However, the first derivative is 4x negative, right? x cubed. So which is uh, 0. The second derivative will be minus 12x squared, which will also be 0 at 0. Since both are zero, we cannot confirm local maximum. Do you see that? So what we're trying to say here, that both zero may be there in these three situations, but they have no confirmation as to whether we have a point of inflection or a local minimum or a local maximum, right? So what to do in this case? That is kind of important to understand, right? So note, you need to analyze the first derivative on either side to confirm local maximum or local minimum. Is that okay? The second derivative zero does not help, correct? So that is kind of important to understand. So the idea here is that second derivative, if that is also zero, then it does not help. You have to check maximum minimum with the help of analyzing the first derivative. Only if the second derivative is not zero, we could have concluded. Perfect. So, so I hope the concept is clear to us, right? So note, only if the second derivative at, at x equals to a is not equal to 0, we can confirm local maximum or local minimum, right? Otherwise not. Otherwise, we have to analyze the first derivative. So that is the focus of this particular video and I hope you get the concept. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.